those in government are the real hoodlums, not palliative looters, according to Yenka Odumake. Yenka Odumake, National Publicity Secretary of Afeni Ferry, in this interview with Semidayo Akinsui, speaks on the aftermath of the hashtag NSAS protest and other sundry issues. And the first question that was put to him says, Southwest governors, traditional rulers and ministers met in Lagos State last week to profile solutions to the hashtag NSAS crisis last and Afeni Ferry was not invited. What do you think was responsible for that? Said the thing is very clear. Like we said, the Kaduna meeting is an afterthought on our unity as a country. They had a sectional meeting of the North where you have all the key appointees of the government. The President, Chief of Staff, IGP, Chief of Army Staff, Lai Mohammed and others, even in their comic, they were so insensitive. There are places they said nomination from Federal Executive Council fake to a Northern Summit initiative, which shows clearly that they, they don't see this nation as one. They see themselves as slave masters while the rest of the country are seen as slaves. They try to play what is called Sakia into the middle belt. When Esmen killed 78 people in Benue in January 2018, Buhari called Governor Autumn and said, go and learn how to live with your people. Now, they want to use them as part of their crowd. It was when Southern and Middle Bet leaders said no. This shows how incompetent you people are. That was when Buhari said his chief of staff should start the uh, re, uh, regard measures. The South East invited their traditional rulers and socio-cultural leaders, but in Southwest, they invited only the traditional rulers, governors, and some ministers because our others have told them what is important to us in the Southwest, like restructuring implementation of the 2014 National Conference. We allowed it to go. The governors know that we cannot sit down in a place and you go and issue a communic which is anti-people. So, to say that we command, we commend Buari for the way he ended the hashtag NSAS crisis, and so that so that we support the gagging of social media, we will never be part of it. We are glad that Sheyi Makinde came out and said they never agreed on such things. With Governor Akredolu coming out to say that he sees nothing wrong in freezing the accounts of hashtag NSAS people, we can now know. We can now know the reason why they did not want people they think they cannot control to sign on to what they want at the meeting. But we commend the traditional rulers for speaking the truth to power, for condemning what happened and for standing on where we stand. So is Afeni Ferry on the same page with Governor Kredulu who said the government is right in freezing hashtag answers protesters account? He said, we cannot, we openly disagree, disagreed with him. Yesterday, I was with one of his aides on the national television and I had to knock him clearly. I said, young man, there will be tomorrow. Ake Rolu will not be governor forever. He will finish his term and come back. He should not use his present to destroy his past and make a mess of his future. Akere Dolu was a former president of the Nigeria Bar Association, MBA. He has a pedigree. If it was any governor we don't think has anything to protect that had said that we will just ignore him but for Akire Dolu how do you say that they can continue to punish people without trial will Akire Dolu get up in Ondo state and start freezing and punishing people without trial before you can punish anybody their guilt must have been established how do you establish the guilt of those whose account you are frozen it has to be through a judicial process. If there's a judicial process that says these people committed an offense, let us punish them. We can't say you cannot punish in accordance with the law. We cannot say what Akirudulu is now saying is the second part of it, that if those whose accounts were frozen have been offended, they should go to court. You did not go to court, but went to court to court of impunity to punish them. And you are now saying they should go to court of law. You are son, a senior member of the bar, past president of the NBA, who should maintain 
the standards of law of how a society should be organized and not behave like anything goes politician. We don't agree with that. We condemn him in totality. When his aide said Afeni Ferry was against Akere Dolu, I told him that when Akere Dolu took that position on Amosekun, did Afeni Ferry not commended him openly, even though we knew it could be of benefit to him during the election, it doesn't matter to us. But when you are making statements that makes you not to be different from the faces who are running Nigeria aground, we cannot accept that you are wrong and we have told the governor that he is totally wrong on this matter. But there is this notion that Nigeria cannot survive without the North based on their agricultural prowess. What is your take on that? He said, so, before the amalgamation of the North and South, have we been feeding on air? That is nonsense. Yes, the federal government has done so many agricultural projects in the North. When you go and look at the records of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, when they are doing anchors, borrowers program most of the money is spent in the north but there is no session in of nigeria that cannot feed itself the food scarcity in some parts of the country may be due to certain factors in southwest for instance if you see what the s may have been doing to the farmers you will be alarmed in the past even our women go to farms unaided to plant agricultural products which man today will allow his wife to go to the farm alone and not throw her to Fulani Hesme for raping? So, there are problems in this country, but there is no part of the country that does not have the capacity for food sufficiency. Well, some have claimed that uh, the attacks on Lagos during the hashtag answers protest was politically motivated. Do you share that view? He said, no, 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 I don't think so. I say so because for years now, I have been telling my wife whenever we are driving in traffic and we see many young people on the street with no future, no job and no hope, I always tell her that the day these people will take to the streets, there will be serious trouble. Today, Nigeria is the global secretariat of poverty. The attack by this youth was not only in Lagos, it was across the country. See the way people were looting, even in Kwara, soldiers were begging them to loot peacefully. The social inequality in the country is so high. We have given no hope or future to her youth. Since they have been killing armed robbers in this country, have you seen any armed robbers that was arrested and said, I am a worker with a Unilever, Guinness or NMPC? No, if you are working in this Lagos, you will leave your house 5 a.m. in the morning, get to work and return home by 10 p.m. at night. By the time you get home, you are already exhausted. Even to eat is a problem. And you went to sleep like that. Is that the time you will go and plan how to bug somebody's house? No, a young man was telling me to assist him get a job. He said he has been a graduate for the past 10 years but has not worked for a day. During the hashtag answers process, I met a man with MBA but have no job and no money. But people cannot, who cannot think are saying the protesters are those losing palliatives are hoodlums. The hoodlums are the people in government. Those losing palliatives are foodlums. foodlums. Okay. Who are looking for what to eat? They are not hoodlums, but they are foodlums. I laughed when the governor said those who looted should return what they stole in 48 hours. Is that how these governors return what they steal? Hmm. Big question, big question. Really, the man really hit this thing very well. So, guys, that we have heard from a uh, Yenka uh, Odumak, he said those people they are calling hoodlums are not hoodlums, but they are foodlums. The real hoodlums, they are the ones in governments. What do you think? Leave your comment below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.